Hey, welcome back. It's garage. I am doing the circuit heating belt on my 2012 A8. Um, I believe it's due at 75,000 miles, and I'm currently at about 80. I figure it's time to get it done. Um, about to do a long trip, and uh, I figure it's as good a time as any. I'm going to start with the belly pan. I, you may be able to do this from under the hood. I believe it's going to be easier to reach from down below. Uh, Putting the front end up on ramps would make this a lot easier than, you know, doing it from under the hood. So, start with the uh, T20s. There's a couple that are right in front of the wheel, so I just use a little ratchet style to get these off. And on the back there are several, maybe like a half turn fasteners. Two in the corner near the wheel. And six or seven more in the along the front. Depending on how many uh, are still intact, this car unfortunately sees a fair bit of salt. So Now there were three bolts along here. I don't know what they were originally, but the last time I took this off, uh, they were just completely rotted out. So I ended up replacing them with 10 millimeter. Shows up okay. In a pretty wide angle with the camera. So I'd recommend taking these belly pans off at least once a year if you're in the salt belt, and uh, you know, spray them down with some use some crown or fluid film or something similar. Uh, like I said, these fasteners here were all totally rotted out. So I had to replace the clips and, and sprayed it down. In fact, I had taken all the belly pans off early this year before I had it sprayed. It was just too covered up to bother spraying without doing that because they won't be able to reach anything. This is really tight in here, but I'm doing my best to show it. Just where the, uh, the belt goes. So 3 8 drive ratchet. I'm going to pull down on this. Take a little bit of slowly uh, compress this tensioner bit. Should be enough to get the belt off the tensioner pulley. Let it up. Of course, either take a picture or get a routing diagram so you know how it goes back on. But this one's pretty straightforward. I don't know if it was changed before I bought the car. The service records don't show that it was. Um, I don't see any cracking in it. Still in uh, you know pretty good shape, but 80,000 miles in six years. I figure it couldn't hurt to change it. There's the uh, belt I'm using. It's a uh, got it from a Volkswagen dealer, but they were able to order the the Audi belt. So All right, the idler's not squeaking. It tension is the same. Spins free, no squeaking. All right, good time to you know have a look at all the pulleys. Uh, alternator, make sure all the grooves are nice and clean. So, on the crank. Alternator. So, this is a pretty simple, this belt, belt riding goes, it's pretty simple. Get it around the pulleys um, and seat it the best you can. It'll take up some of the slack. Pull down the tensioner. Thank you. 
you know, I think my next video will be replacing this idler. I'm not don't like how much the much plays in that. Alright, belt on. Double check your routing. Make sure everything's seated before you start it up. You don't want to shred the belt. And that's it. Put your belly pan back on. Fire it up. Have a quick look at it. And uh, you should be good to go for another 75,000 miles. Alright, thanks for watching.